Hey guys, my name is Dirk uh, from the Freedom Lifestyles Academy and this short tutorial will go about you know how to forward your uh, custom email address to a Gmail. So and why would you do that? In some cases, like for example, if you when you're using a, an, an autoresponder, you have to leave a, a you know reply to email address. If you use your Gmail uh, address in your autoresponder, uh, most likely your emails will end up in uh, the receiver's spam inbox, and that is what you, you do not want. I presume you are in in sort of a uh, maybe in a. In, you know, an online business or email marketing in that kind of structure, then it's very important that your email arrives, right? So I'm using HostGator, and this is also possible with, with GoDaddy or other hosting companies. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of HostGator. This is not a promotion for HostGator, um, but HostGator is, is just really, really easy to work with. Uh, actually, to be honest, I buy my domain names in, in GoDaddy because it's just very easy to work around there. And I redirect them to uh, to HostGator and do the work over here. So, um, having that said, let me take you to a quick thing. So, first of all, let, let's just start from the beginning. And I'm gonna take you. With, maybe you already have a uh, an email address uh, in HostGator. Maybe, maybe not. But let's just make it a complete story, right? And I'll take you here. So, let's go to. Uh, this is the. Uh, it's called the C panel. Uh, your dashboard, whatever you like to call it. And here you have popular links. And there you see email accounts, email, but you also see here on the left side. So if I click on email, it will take me probably somewhere down or maybe not. Maybe I click it again. Now it does. So it goes to the chapter of email and uh, all the way in the top, there was just short shortcuts, uh, links that are being used often. So let's create an, an email account. And for that, we need uh, an email. Um, I always, uh, let's search the 15kmarketing.com it's an easy one and let's just make it easy I call it info info at 15kmarketing.com and a, a, a password um, look like this easy to remember and like this okay and then you create an um, unlimited so that's how I create an account create an, a Gmail for work. That is also, um, but that is, um, this is a paid thing. So $5 per month per mailbox and then you, but it's a completely different story. So we now created, um, you see I have several, we have a info 15K marketing. I was just gonna copy that. And now we wanna go back to email. So that brings you back to the desktop, uh, the dashboard. And, uh, and or, or the C panel, and we have to wait. And then here in popular links, also here down below, are we gonna re we're, we are taken down below by the email. We go to email forwarders. So you click email forwarders, and then you come here and you say add forwarder. And now what you will see, it will give a small warning or error, and I'll explain a little bit more about that. So what we wanna do, oh, we got to go back to 50K, Yes, 15K, and we had info. And we want to forward it to, let's say, my email address. This is what I use actually for, for spam and stuff like that. So feel free to email me there. It does not matter. Maybe I see it and I'll respond. Anyway, it looks like you're adding a forwarder to Gmail. We strongly recommend utilizing them. And why do they say that they are, if there is a bulk email coming down to your Gmail account, Gmail probably gonna say, wow, this is spam and they block it. But if you use this for your autoresponder and so that your receiver of your autoresponder thinks it's a, a custom domain, but when they reply it is being sent to your Gmail account. You can also do this with Yahoo or Hotmail and stuff like that. But in this case, uh, we're going to talk about Gmail. Um, so don't worry about that. Uh, it works perfect for me. Uh, it, 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 you know, it doesn't come in thousands at the, at the same time. If, you're, if your list is really, really that big, then I would just suggest you just use your custom domain, uh, custom email address, and put it in your mailing system of, of if you're working with a Mac, it's his email, or maybe an Outlook, or, you know, just use that or use webmail and stuff like that. 
or you have something like an email fetcher you can just google that it's a different tutorial email fetcher but for just you know if you have a medium sized list about 1000 10000 15000 and your response is okay then this this works perfect so now we have this um, yeah forward to this email and then you say add forward okay cool so now what we have to do is we have to go to uh, Gmail. Let me take you to Gmail. So here we are. Um, so pay attention because my settings I just now see are uh, in Dutch. I thought it was in English, but it does not matter. Here on the right side, you see that symbol for settings. So when you click that, you have a drop down. And then it says all these things, um, space, very spacey, compact, impact, but you need this one and it will say settings with you or in whatever language it may be you're working in. Um, this is Dutch, this is Dutch for settings. So when you click that, you want to go to um, accounts and import. So you have the general labels, inbox, account and import. When I click that. You want to go to um, here and it says send as and you want to add another email. This is Dutch. Sorry guys. So again, send as and add another email. So I click add another email and then you want to, um, you know, who is it from? Is it from you personal? In this case, I will just do, um, you know, 15, 15k marketing i'm not using that actually but um for example as you know so when you send an email and they use this uh, email it, the receiver sees it's from 15k marketing or maybe it should just be from dirk or dirk and muriel or freedom lifestyles academy but in this case just you make it easy i just 15k marketing and the email address was info at 15k marketing.com and then uh, accept as an alias, yes. And then next step. And then, mm, 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 mm. yeah. So 50k marketing, info, username, and then you fill out your, your password. And hopefully we did this correctly. And you say add account. Don't save. Oh, no. let me check here. Yeah, so I paused the video for a bit and then it worked, but I cannot go back. So I will I explain what you did. It says username and it just said info. It should be the whole email address. So info at 15kmarketing.com. And then the password and then you say verify and then we come on this screen. So you didn't miss much, but the username is the whole email address. Sorry. Um, so uh, an email has been sent with the uh, verification code to info at 15kmarketing.com. So let's go there. Let's go there. And so I click on inbox and then we end up here and we see the first mail. Wait, let's go and open this one up. You requested info at 15k marketing uh, to add to your uh, Gmail account. The verification code is this code. So, so Gmail account, you have to click the big link. So click the big link. And you have to confirm that you want to send email as info at 15k marketing. Okay, I confirm. And this one will take me back to Gmail. And then we can see this is a different account. Let me see. We go here again. So, and now we can go here and check uh, settings. And then we go up to accounts and import and send as. You see? So we have the primary. This one already was added. And 15K marketing has been added to as well. So, and here it says, you know, when you answer a message, answer from the same address uh, as to where um, the message was sent to. Um, I will do this then, you know, if you receive an email from 50K Marketing, example, 
then it will send a, uh, you will reply back again on 15kmarketing.com so that is very um, uh, a cool trick and if somebody sends it to Dirk here the first one I can reply as Dirk as well so uh, guys this has been said so let me go back um, so inbox yeah I want to save that and that's it so guys and uh, this was uh, my tutorial i hope it was very clear if if not um leave a comment below this video in youtube and ask me the question i will keep an eye on it and i uh, hopefully will you know be able to answer your questions and help you further if you want to learn more about you know how i provide for my family how i created a six-figure income with shooting tutorials like this I uh, invite you and recommend you to click on the link that you find in the bio or in the in the subscription down below. Um, you know, having a, a home-based business that is mostly for the big part automated allows me to you know spend time with my family, my kids, uh, help them out at school, travel every uh, school holiday, and just you know step away from the nine-to-five crime. If that is something that you are interested in and you will look further into. Click the link in the description below and uh, who knows, I'll see you there. And uh, if not, I hope my tutorial helped you and brought you a solution and that you can now move on. Okay, have an awesome day. Bye.